All right, boys, here's the deal. Earlier, I was scrolling around on Facebook Marketplace, and I came across a go-kart. The guy is one, what in the world? Hummingbird just flew past me. Anyways, guy wanted $200 for it. Doesn't run, but uh, doesn't sound like it's gonna be that hard to get it running. It's actually in pretty dang good condition. So I bumped him down on the price a little bit. I got him down to $180. So me and Will are about to pick it up here in a minute. Luckily, it's really close to my house. So we're gonna grab the trailer, grab $180, and then uh, go pick this thing up. And heck, if we get it running, we'll probably be cutting donuts here in about 10 minutes. All right, so Will's here. But we've run into a bit of predicament involving the trailer. This is a lock. Okay, ah! and I don't have the freaking key for it. So we got bolt cutters and a hacksaw So hopefully we can get this off and then I'll just have to buy my dad a new one. I guess You good you good Goodness That's how fast it takes to steal a trailer Makeshift lock. Don't want the trailer falling off. Options, we got a welding stick. We got one of these kind of locks. Got a random bolt. What fits? Just go and weld the stick on there. Not weld, twist the stick on there. Look at that go-kart. Look at our design here. So, don't have a lock to go on the trailer. So there's a welding rod wrapped around it. Don't have ratchet straps. Well, we have the straps. So we don't even have any ratchets, so we just... No, this isn't strap. That's a strap. No, -uh. look oh. at the end of it. Oh, don't have any ratchet straps, so we just tied this around it like 12 times. But it's here, and look at it. Look at those wheels. So he said, all three of those tires will hold air once you air them up. I don't, I mean, obviously they're not, but this one's just fully it's clapped out. Than, it's not even on the bead. It's way bigger than I thought. It is pretty big. I was kind of surprised how big it was. Suspension, a whole Subaru 169cc, 6.5 horsepower motor. I want to get in it. Oh, roll cage. Ugh, don't want to be dying. Whoa, this seat is so seedy. We got a light switch just in case it gets a little bit dark. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's the kill switch? That's if I were to guess, the one on the right's the gas, and the one on the no, left's the brake. Are you kidding me? Am I in Africa here? It's time to get. Oh, I'm gonna get a concussion on this. I don't know what Will's gonna do, but he's the mechanic here. He's gonna get this thing fired up, and then I'm gonna drive it off the roof and probably light it on fire or something. So. That sucks. That's what 10,000 year old gas smells like. That's not even gas. Hold on, don't move. Let me see if I can get in there. Straight ethanol. That's that smells terrible. Ethanol. Can y'all see in there? That is terrible. Come on. Lift with your neck. You mean lift with my forehead? Had a kid. It's got a tire. Matter of fact, it's got four of them. It's got some seat belts. Those will not be putting into use. It's got a gas tank. Helen Keller probably drove in this thing. Ah. Push me, push me. Wait, you know what I just realized? Push, stop! Yeah. As soon as we jump this, ah, we're gonna get like severe concussed on these yeah, bars. Yeah, we get helmets. Yeah, we can take this roll cage off, can't we? We don't want to. We can take this off. They roll easy. All right, we're taking it off. Jeez, you're right, they are easy to roll. Hey, the seat's adjustable, look at there. Yep. Look at that sucker. Well guys, we just tried to unload it off the trailer and it, dude, we just got too much speed going into the corner and just flipped it right on our top already. So, a little bit of damage done. Tires are still spinning, I mean, they, I mean, it literally just happened. It was crazy. The trailer took off, it's already down. It went somewhere over that tree over there, probably on the interstate. And Will was just trapped underneath it the whole time. But yeah. There's a go-kart. Let's see, we need wheels and tires. Shouldn't be that hard. This guy, this guy, and this guy need to be replaced, and a new motor. And we're good. Oh, just getting her turned around here. Park her up for the night. Goodbye.
2,000 years later. All right, well, update on the go-kart. It's freaking running. I don't know what I will did to it, but he just got done putting a whole new torque converter in it. But now it runs like a champ. I mean, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's really not bad. Look at him, he's gonna roll it in the middle of the road. So yeah, go-kart's officially running. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Here's what we'll work with. About like a seven foot gap maybe. I don't know, I'm not a biologist, but. Oh man, this is scary. Please. What was that? He literally just ran over the side of it. Here we go. What was that? All right, we'll back it in really quick. So, the go-kart's freaking done. It still is not perfect. This tire still clapped. There's a creepy looking worm thing right there, but I think that is the only one. Yeah, all these are rock solid. It needs a good wash, and uh, really then it'll be good as new. That was a cold pull start. I didn't actually expect it to crank first pull, but that just shows. I mean, this thing is meant now. It's even got a custom headlight. Watch this crap. Boom. High beams, low beams, flashy beams, everything you could ever want. Now, the steering is not the greatest. Sometimes when you turn right, it turns left, but uh, that's just kind of something you're going to have to deal with. But, I mean, everything works. The seat belt works. Seat belt works great. I mean, not really, but, I mean, yeah, it does. That's going to be important for whenever you start drifting this thing. But everything pretty much... Whoa! I about died on a Tau Tau four-wheeler. But this is just sh to show. Let's see. Bought it for $180 and put maybe $100 into it. And look at it. So that's $280 for a perfectly running go-kart that I can probably sell. I'm not too sure. If I get that tire fixed, that tire is going to be like $70. But for that amount, I'll probably be able to sell this thing maybe for like $700, $600, $800. I don't know. On freaking Facebook Marketplace and uh, probably make pretty good profit off it. Plus, we'll get to drive it. I mean, that's what it's all about. Buying things cheap, fixing them, driving them, having fun. Once you get a little bit bored, you sell it. It's even got a hole drilled into the steering wheel, so I can't think of anything else that this thing really needs other than it needs to be washed because it's really dirty. But yeah, I think that that's a great addition. I've never actually had a uh, go-kart ever before in my life, and it's pretty cool. We got cool videos coming with it. Maybe jumps, a little drift track. Oh yeah, off topic but neat. The freaking Polaris is back. It's been in the shop for probably seven years, but yeah, go-kart is... A freaking beast. So, stay tuned for more videos with this thing. And uh, then we'll sell it and buy something even cooler, hopefully.
maybe a helicopter, maybe a chainsaw powered jet ski. I don't freaking know, okay? But hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment your credit card information, and I'll see y'all on the next one.